you know you need to produce more content. You know you need to shoot more videos and present yourself and put yourself out there into the world to get more business. But how? What's getting in the way? I recently watched a video of Sir Michael Caine that I'm about to show you that's going to get you unstuck. It's going to remove the block, remove the obstacle from putting yourself out there without fear of judgment so that you can be more and attract more clients, more business than ever before. You'll be creating more content than you ever created before. In the next 30 days, you'll create more content than you did in the first 30 years of your life. And if you're less, if you're not that old, then you're going to create a lot of content. Sir Michael Caine is an actor and he's considered one of the greatest actors in English history. He's from Great Britain and he has an accent and it's a beautiful accent. It's going to pull you right in. I found this YouTube video of a masterclass that he did years ago. This guy's been in part of 160 films. He's won an Academy Award. He's BAFTA, Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild. He's won every single award possible. And through this masterclass, there was one scene that was just so gripping and it's so telling that it's going to get you out of your shell and you're going to start producing massive content. So let's check this video out on YouTube. It's an oldie but goodie and you're going to love this scene. It does not exist. You never look into it. You never know it's there. You just hold the eyes of the other person and listen. And listening is really what acting is all about for movies. It's not like the theater. It's an entirely different situation. When I was in the theater, I was inadvertently given some advice by uh, the theater producer. When very young, I was in repertory in Lowestock. And he said to me, what are you doing, Michael? And I said, nothing, sir. He said, what? What do you mean, nothing? I said, well, I haven't got anything to say. <laughs> so he said, what do you mean you haven't got anything to say? He said, of course you've got things to say. You've got wonderful things to say, but you sit there and listen, think of these extraordinary things to say, and then decide not to say them. <laughs> That's what you're doing. And that is the greatest piece of advice I can give to someone who wants to act in movies. Now that is the greatest piece of advice that you can get as a real estate agent or a business owner or entrepreneur. You are sitting there with some extraordinary ideas. And I remember being, at these conferences, masterminds, in the audience, watching people on stage present their businesses, their tactics, their strategies, what's working, how they're lead generating, how they're marketing, how they're growing, how they're selling all these homes and doing all these wonderful things. And I remember sitting there watching and going, that doesn't seem all that complicated. And I remember thinking, wow, that's a great idea, but I have other good ideas too. And I've thought about this before. And and what's the difference between them thinking about it and saying it on stage and me sitting in the audience thinking about all these wonderful things? I always knew I had all these ideas, but I always kept it to myself. And it wasn't until I just said, screw it. I'm just going to let everyone have everything I know. And I'm not going to be worried about people judging me for my thoughts that I spoke up. And I just started telling people. And the more I told people, the more people that, yeah, sometimes they had already heard that, already thought of it, but they, they honored me and and respected me for saying it out loud. See, we've been trained in America, North America, in, in public school systems to sit back and listen and raise your hand if you have a question, but also to be right. We have been trained to be right and that you don't want to say something out loud unless you absolutely know you're right because there's right and wrong answers. And in business and in life and in content creation, there is no right answers. There's just ideas and creativity. See, in the creativity space and the content uh, creation space, their ideas, and you have wonderful ideas, you have wonderful stories, you have a whole life, you have a whole memoir, you, you know, whether you've sold one home or a million homes, that one home has some lessons there. And people need to hear it. And you need to stop leaving your thoughts to yourself because you need to share those thoughts because it's an iteration game. The more you give out your thoughts, the more you'll get better at giving your thoughts. It's a muscle. You have to have repetition on this. So don't sit back and watch my videos and come up with great ideas. 
ideas for videos that you could shoot and don't shoot them. Don't think, don't read my articles, my blogs, my posts on Facebook and, and my email newsletter and think, wow, that's really well written. I could write. I thought about things of writing and don't write it. You need to write it. You need to take action. You need to get your content out there because people love those ideas. People love what's in your head and they want to hear it. They want to hear it and you'll get better at it and better at it, better at it. And if you're in the field in a sales position or a business situation, you know, start using your opportunities, your appointments as as breeding grounds or training grounds to articulate your ability to give your own thoughts. Use those as opportunities to present. Yeah, there's just one person in front of you, but it doesn't matter if it's one person or 10,000 people. You need to present to them like it is your story and it is your thought and really get into it because that's where the magic is going to happen. So Michael Caine's masterclass is available on YouTube, I think it's the one I watched was 56 minutes long, but there's other master classes. This is before there was a master class. Michael King got up there and said, "How do you, how do you speak in front of a camera?" And it was really, really, really good. So check that out.